when I was young, back to the day when I was falling in love. He used to meet me on the east side. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an update on my health, body image, eating disorder, and all that stuff. So if you are new here, hi, my name is Lisa Mano, and I filmed a video about two years ago about my eating disorder journey. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on where that all is. It is currently 11.30 p.m. on a Thursday night and I have an 8 30 class tomorrow. So I love that. I just can't sleep and I just wanted to sit in front of a camera and film. So... I'm also gonna discuss where have I been, I haven't been posting, and all that jazz. So if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button, join my family. We're almost at 11,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much for everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I love you guys so much, and I miss you guys so much. Please don't feel like I abandoned you because I've just been going through it. Let's be real here. Seriously, about two years ago, I filmed an eating disorder journey video, and um, from that video, I definitely got in worse i'd say i lost uh, quite a bit of weight from that video and um i'm just gonna tell you guys how i've been feeling so, let's be real i've had a rough couple months and i've definitely fell into a deep hole and i didn't think i could get out of it and um i definitely am still kind of in that hole but i'm definitely i'm coming out of it a little bit more let's just say that um so from that video, I suffered really bad with an eating disorder. Um, I was diagnosed with anorexia. I don't like saying I have anorexia because if you look up the definition for anorexia, it basically means that when you eat, you throw, you force yourself to throw up. And I don't do that. I just kind of don't eat enough, and I don't, I don't eat a lot, and I kind of restrict myself from eating. Let's be real, and it's very hard because when you suffer with an eating disorder and you stop eating, your stomach shrinks into like a like a fist like this is like the size of your stomach i think that's i think that's it correct me if i'm wrong but um your stomach shrinks so that's what happened to me and from that video it definitely shrunk a lot more um i could barely get like three bites in without my stomach like on tilt like when you eat and then your stomach is so small you really really feel like you have to throw up and you're in so much pain as that's what i go through um like the other day I was eating, I ate a lot the other day, like for one meal. I think it was like I ate once that day and I ate a lot. And my stomach, I felt like my stomach was ripping. It was it was literally horrible and it sucked. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Like it's like physical pain, which I don't, I hate it. Like if I could just like turn it off, like I would. Um, I definitely lost quite a bit of weight from that last video i want i want to say like 15 pounds and i was like two years ago which is not good um so yeah i recently i've been going through a lot october was a really shitty month and it was it was literally the worst month of my life um i uh, lost my brother-in-law and then i lost my sister um six days later and let me just tell you it killed me i turned all my emotions off i became this i was so depressed and so like why like i kept asking why 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 and i just stopped eating i just stopped eating um which is not good and i would like have to force myself to eat at least like a little bit like a bite because you, you have to eat like you literally just can't eat and i was getting really sick and it wasn't fun I felt like I woke up every single morning wanting to throw up for no reason. I had nothing in my system, that's why. So, um, yeah, October was a really bad month. It's now December. And uh, about two weeks ago, I sat down with myself and I was like, you know what, Alyssa, you have to gain weight because you're literally so unhealthy. It's just not good. Like, it's not, it's not going to end well. So I sat down with myself and I was like, you know what, as much pain as I am in, or I put myself in when I eat, I ha I literally have to do it, I had no choice. So I did that, I started eating a little bit more than I usually would, I um, made sure I ate every day. Yes, it would make me really sick, like really, really sick. So I was like, you know what, no matter what I feel or the pain I'm in, I have to do it, I like have to do something. So then I did that, I started eating a little bit more like I just said, and I gained three pounds, and then something happened, and I lost it in literally like four days. I lost all the weight that I gained. So I was just like, what is going on? Like, why can't I, 
why can't my mind just stick to being healthy or like doing something like good for myself or like whatever so like i was like why like why god do i always have to lose weight so i literally just remember like thinking since my thinking to myself like why can't i get better why doesn't my body want to gain weight like what is going on and i came to the conclusion that i wasn't doing enough to stay that way or have the weight on me like i just every time something would happen i would just fall from i would go to point b all the way back to fucking point a like i just kept bouncing back and forth and that's not good so i'm at a spot in my life where like i want to get better but like i'm having this hard time getting better but like it sucks suffering with an eating disorder because you really it's really hard like a lot of people think it's so easy people are just like eat like oh let's eat do this do this and i'm like it's not that simple like you guys think i sit on my bed i'm like oh i don't want to eat but like in reality i do want to eat but i just don't want to get sick and that's kind of why i restrict myself because when i feel sick i'm gonna want to throw up and i don't want to do that so i think in my previous video my eating disorder video i say that i lost about 20 pounds and if i look back um all together from 2017 to now i lost about 40 and i didn't have 40 pounds to lose you know what i mean like i didn't want to lose that weight but i kind of kind of just happened so fast so i suffer really bad with body image and i'm very insecure like that's why um it's another reason why i haven't filmed because i get a little self-conscious sitting on camera like right now like i'm mad self-conscious like i'm looking at my neck and i'm like oh my god like i look too skinny like, I literally, like, get self-conscious to the point where, like, I don't want to film. And that's why I haven't filmed. And I don't want you guys thinking I let you down because that's not the case at all. Like, I didn't want to stop filming. But it's to the point where, like, I'm disappointed in myself and I'm disappointed in how I look. And I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh, my God, you're not that skinny. But, like, in reality, like, I really am. If you see me in person, like, I'm, like, a straight, like, stick. Like, I'm really tiny. And it's just not healthy. And I have really bad trouble coming to terms where I know I need to get better, but I'm not taking the steps to do so. And that's why it's so hard for me because I know I need to gain a little bit of weight. And um, I know that if I gain weight, I would feel so much better about myself. And I know that it would make a huge difference, but it's just hard doing so because of how depressed I actually am. Let's be real here. And you know, let's be honest, like, I'm not the happiest I could be, but I'm definitely thankful that I'm here, and, you know, life is so short, life is just way too short to just, you know, make yourself rot, and I feel like that's what I did, I definitely feel like I, you know, lost myself a lot and i don't want to lose myself ever again and i'm finally on the road to finding who i am again and it feels so good and i just can't wait for all this to be over like i really can't wait to gain weight and like be happy because i definitely suffered a lot of trauma in my life and it's my time baby like let me tell you like this is 2021 better be my year i really hope 2020 brings me so much peace and joy in my life and I cannot wait to like figure out who I am. And another reason why I stopped filming is because, let's be real, every day I wear sweatpants and hoodies because I'm skinny. Like I'm like really tiny and I don't like showing off my body. I put on a tight shirt because I don't want to look like a slob on camera. I think it's because when I wear tight clothes, a lot of people have something to say. And I'm just like, why? Why do you have something to say? Like I get it. Everyone thinks I don't understand that I'm skinny. Like, I understand completely. Let me tell you that. I literally wake up every day, look in the mirror, and I'm like, what the fuck? I weigh myself every single day, and I see that number go down literally every single day. Um, and I don't tell people my weight. You know, when I weigh myself, I make sure no one's in the room with me. Even with the doctors, the doctor only stays in the room, no one else. I don't tell anyone. And it definitely sucks suffering with an eating disorder, depression, and anxiety on all on top of it. Because let's be real, my anxiety makes me way too nervous to eat, my depression makes me not want to eat, and my eating disorder literally doesn't make me eat, it puts me in pain, and I'm not trying to be in pain, um, there's a lot of things that you could take to gain weight, but I think they're all bullshit, I feel like 
if you don't eat, you're just not going to gain the weight. And I feel like all these pills and insurers and protein shakes, they don't do anything for me. They all taste like shit, let's be real. And I'm just struggling. OD, let's be real here. I'm going through it. But honestly, I cannot wait to finally be happy and finally gain the weight that I once had. Because when I was my highest, my highest was 115 and... I literally had like, I had a chunky face, let's be real. And I had like a double chin and I hated it. So I wanted to get rid of that. But then once I lost those few pounds to lose my double chin, I kept losing it. And I was like, what is going on? And I couldn't pinpoint it until I went to the doctors and they were like, oh, like you have an eating disorder. Like, why aren't you eating? And I literally told them like, it hurts. Like it literally hurts me. Like, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I trust you guys. Um. I eat like once a day maybe, even if that, when I'm really depressed and really sad, I don't eat at all. I don't drink anything, I don't eat anything, and that's not good, do not do that. And I know that's why I lose weight, because I don't eat and I'm not doing anything about it, but it's hard. And nobody understands that unless you're going through it. So this video is basically an update um, on that. Body image is a really tough thing to deal with, and um, it's just not fun body dysphoria so i'm not gonna say i have it but i know a lot of people that do and it's not fun um suffering with body image is just not a fun time like you look in the mirror and you're like why am i in this body why do i look like this and it's just not it's not a fun time and um, my heart goes out to everyone suffering with this and my heart goes out to people that feel like they're in a deep hole and they can't get out you could get out I thought for months I wouldn't get out and I'm finally climbing to get out of this fucking depression in this hole and let me tell you it feels so good to want to wake up in the morning now because I used to not want to wake up like I used to be so depressed and now looking back thank god I didn't give up because there was definitely times where I wanted to because I'm just not happy and I'm so glad that I didn't because it would just not be the right choice and Whoever's suffering with all that, my DMs are open, trust me. It's just not fun. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys understand why I haven't been filming. But it's no joke. Mental health is no joke. Eating disorders are no joke. That shit really eats you up. Literally eats you up. And I'm just tired of hearing I'm skinny and I need to gain weight. I'm so over it. I hear it literally every single day of my life. Not a single day goes by where I don't hear it and I'm just so overhearing it so like I really hope something clicks on my head and like that makes me gain weight like I really can't wait and I hope when I do gain the weight I keep it because I just can't lose any more weight that's it for today's video I think um I love you guys so much thank you so much for listening hopefully I'll be back soon this was just a quick little update on why I haven't been filming about my eating disorder my mental health all that if you guys like my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button join the family i love you guys so much we're on the road to 11,000 subscribers and i will